You are looking for your delicious little girlfriend. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I'll help you find the doll. Choices, choices. Which way to go? Hmm? If you feel so inclined to take the West Road, give my regards to the hangman, will you? <laughs> Haven't had the chance to hang out with him for a while now. You know, I find you hunters a bit hypocritical. You claim to be the protectors of humankind, but the truth is that all you care about is killing for loot and gold. Let's do an experiment. Come on, Victor, follow the gold coins. Exciting. Maybe there's even more treasure at the end of the Golden Trail. Or perhaps a big bad monster.
This place bears the taint of undead. The first time I faced a wraith, I mistook it for an ordinary wandering spirit. I still bear the scar from that mistake. Though they go mad, they shall be sane. Though they sink through the sea, they shall rise again. Though lovers be lost, love shall not, and death shall have no dominion. The spirit is right. As long as the curse over Zagaravia remains, death will not claim these poor souls. They are bound to reform and rise as undead again and again. A beautiful, almost surreal scene. The monsters just don't belong here. job is often a grim and bloody affair, but every now and then, you get a view like this. Gives you a bit of perspective. Helps you remember what you're fighting for.
Beware that when fighting monsters, you yourself do not become a monster. For when you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss gazes also into you. This spirit knows the burdens of those that hunt monsters. Perhaps he was a hunter long ago. How did Zagaravia end up as a trap for hunters? What kept them all from leaving? Not even one returned. There are so many questions. another hunter. The trap is effective. Few of us are still alive. Our order is nearly destroyed.
with so few of us left, who will stop the next demon incursion? No point thinking about that now. I have to find Irene. Truth that's told with bad intent. Victor, how did you find me? Can you see the spirit too? Can you make sense of his ramblings? Victor, how did you find me? Irene, I'm glad to find you. Beats. I came from my friend. What are you seeing? Nothing in particular. <laughs> Exciting place, isn't it? Adventurous, you might call it. Yeah, the nightlife seems to be booming. Seriously, why are you here? No business of yours. A girl has to keep some secrets, you know? Yes, yes, but what does that mean? What is the Well of Worlds? Is it the reason for the demon invasion? It couldn't be. The Queen must know more than she lets on. She is hiding something. Welcome back, Hunters. We are happy to see you both alive and well. I believe you know something that you're not telling us, Your Majesty. What is your role in the fate of Zagoravia? The Well of Worlds, Your Majesty. What is it? What did you do? The Well of Worlds is my blessing and my curse, Hunter. It is a source of power hidden in our lands. A doorway to countless worlds beyond our own. I unsealed it many years ago to save myself from a mortal sickness. The Red Plague doesn't care if you are a peasant girl or a princess. I became sick on my 18th birthday. My skin withered. My hair started to fall out. Vile red pustules covered my entire body. The healer said that I would never live to see the spring. All except one, Gabriel. He didn't have the power to heal me, but he knew of eldritch forces that could. He offered me salvation, a dark pact with the forces beyond the Well of Worlds. I would have 13 years of health before they came to claim me. My signature in blood was on the pact. For everyone, my complete and swift recovery was a miracle. Yet I knew it was anything but. Gabriel was made Lord of Zagoravia. Before he disappeared, he left a parting gift. 
a spell that would deceive the demons. I thought I was safe, and many blissful years passed. On the reckoning night, the demons swarmed to claim me, but they could not see nor recognize me. And all of Zagoravia paid the price that was mine to pay. You know the rest of the story yourself. This is my story, Hunter. I doomed my kingdom. The demon invasion is my folly. The price of my pact with the dark powers. So strike me down. End the curse here and now. I am ready to pay for my sins. The sins of a scared, dying young girl. Your death will not annul the pact, Katerina. One evil never cancels another. We've all done things we regret. At least you had the courage to stand and face the consequences. So, what do you plan to do, Victor Vern? Boromir knew of your dark pact, your majesty. An ancient spirit is a confused being, but he might find some clarity at the place of his passing. We can learn more from him there. We do not know where the old Tsar perished, but we can point you in the right direction. The Volkovs were the keepers of the annals of Zagoravia since the city's founding. The whole family perished in the invasion, but hopefully the archive is still intact in their home in the High Quarter.